education uh, story that we're covering right now. Another school, another administ administrator under fire. Uh, it's both controversial and compelling. Watchdog group Project Veritas releasing a new video, this time of a New York City assistant principal caught on an undercover recording admitting to engaging in hiring practices that discriminate against those with conservative beliefs. Uh, this comes after the organization known for its uh, controversial guerrilla journalism tactics released two other videos uh, recently, uh, just in the past week Week, exposing bias in school administrations. News Nation has been reporting on these revelations coming from the administrative level. One video shows an assistant principal, this one in Connecticut, who was put on leave for expressing explicit bias against Catholics and anyone with conservative uh, beliefs. Uh, the other clip shows the director of a New York City private school who says she is promoting a liberal agenda in her classrooms. Uh, she's also on leave from her job. So joining us right now to talk about all of this is Project Veritas' founder, James O'Keefe. So glad to have you on the show. Great to be with you. You know, I have to ask, what is the response? What have you been hearing from the schools, from parents since this investigation? Well, we, we've seen two officials be put on leave. Uh, the assistant principal, as you mentioned, in Coscob Granite Schools in Connecticut. Also, the, um, the New York City Trinity School putting putting that woman you just saw on paid leave. And then this latest expose we released yesterday, um, we are waiting to hear the employment status of Todd Soper. Although, uh, as I'm doing this interview with you live, Todd has taken down his Twitter account. So the reaction has been swift. Uh, people are ashamed of what they're caught saying and doing. And, and, and frankly, what Project Veritas wants to see are these officials be open and honest about what they tell our journalists privately. How many of these videos are you planning to actually put out? And do you believe that this issue is systemic? Well, it's definitely systemic. Uh, we have more videos to come. We have undercover journalists in the field right now. After the Connecticut tape was released, we got hundreds of tips sent to us at veritastips at protonmail.com. There was a press conference outside the school. Uh, many other people in Connecticut and New York are sending us things that we have to track down. So. Right as I speak, where our journalists are in the field uh, gathering more video evidence of what you have seen. And I have to ask, what's being done in, in terms of, like, what would you want to see happen as a result of this entire investigation? Well, first, first on a basic level, just be honest. Uh, Jeremy Boland told us in the video last week that he discriminates against Catholics, that we don't hire people over the age of 30. I want honesty. I, I want people to... To, to be transparent about their curriculum, about their hiring practices, and about their agenda. And this is all very secret. That's why we're calling the video series The Secret Curriculum. It's not something that they're willing to be open about. Um, I've also been attacked by the media. People are saying that you shouldn't use these hidden camera videos. You shouldn't use pretenses to get... get but, what, but the question for those media people is, what other way are we going to get this information? So this is an important type of investigative journalism. Um, it's a very important issue. Mothers are very upset uh, about what's happening to their children, and they have a right to know how they're being taught. And, and I have to ask, I mean, in terms of mothers and fathers of children, what can they do if they want to contact their school and find out transparently if there is an agenda? I mean, what kind of questions should they ask? They're not going to be able to put a hidden camera uh, in their kid's backpack. Or maybe well, that's a, good, that's a really good point, and that's why organizations like Project Veritas are so essential in uh, a democracy where we have to have access to real information. Um, and thanks to the mothers in Connecticut, I mean, the Attorney General of Connecticut, William Tong, is now investigating. He launched a civil rights inquiry into what this assistant principal said. This is not a low-level official in Connecticut. This is the person tasked with all hiring in Greenwich, Connecticut. Uh, and now the attorney general is investigating. Initially, William Tong attacked me and said this is, quote, vigilante journalism. Um, I'm not sure what he meant by that. All journalism is, <laughs> is vigilante in nature. Um, and we need independent people to expose. So um, I would thank the mothers for contacting the state. And now we have this new tape. This is assistant principal uh, Todd Soper, grade K through four assistant principal in neighborhood charter schools in New York City, has taken down his Twitter account, taken down his Instagram account. And we would like parents in that school to contact the school and say, what, what is this man's employment status? 
What does the school have to say about what he has said here to our journalists? All right, James O'Keefe, founder of Project Veritas, thank you so much uh, for being with us. Obviously, a lot of people are not going to agree with the tactics, but when you see the videos and you hear what people are saying, it's sparking a real conversation about, again, if this is widespread or isolated. Thank you. Thank you. Still